Hello students, today we are going to take up the topic of class 10 ICSE study of compounds under that nitric acid is the topic of study. Let us start with a very good thought, don't give in without a fight means to say that we need to continue to do hard work and be patient you will get the required success as we inform. So let us start the nitric acid formula you know HNO3 and the Lewis dot structure is shown here. If you see the nitrogen, nitrogen is having 5 valence electron. Here 4 bonds are formed. So it means to say that one of the nitrogen oxygen single bond like here this is donating two electrons from the nitrogen that is these two electrons are given to the oxygen forming the coordinate bond as you have studied in the chemical bonding coordinate bond and therefore six valence electron is there for oxygen here it means to say that two electrons are donated from here to oxygen this is forming coordinate bond and then one one here two and one here so two plus one three plus two five Okay, molecular mass is 63, you can calculate by adding the hydrogen atomic mass 1 and 16 and 14 and 16 and 16, okay. Now, so as far as the syllabus is concerned, the most important topics, two topics, first is lab preparation of nitric acid or laboratory preparation of nitric acid and the second is commercial preparation. So let us start first with the lab, lab preparation. So here, what we are doing is we are heating a solution containing concentrated acid that is sulfuric acid H2SO4 and solution of sodium nitrate or potassium nitrate any one of these solution we can use so on heating to a temperature less than 200 degrees celsius we will be getting KHSO4 that is known as potassium bisulfate and nitric acid vapors so it means nitric acid vapors will be formed and will be moving through this chamber towards this round bottom flask which is tilted one and on condensing through the chilled water or cold water this vapors will condense to form nitric acid okay fine so here what is the precautions we have to take care of temperature should be less than 200 and the sulfuric acid should be concentrated we cannot use concentrated HCl because it is a volatile one and it is not volatile and the reaction type is decomposition okay and this is the method of preparation temperature should be less than 200 if you are increasing the temperature what is likely to happen is instead of KHSO4 we will be getting K2SO4 or Na2SO4 which is hard and sticky it can be accumulated on the surface of this round bottom flask and it will create the barrier in the heating which leads to the loss of heat or the fuel wastage will be there first second thing is when the heating will be more again and again we are going to increase the heating the glass apparatus may break that are the two problems here that's why temperature is maintained less than 200 degrees celsius okay so previously we have discussed the methods lab preparation of nitric acid where we have taken sodium nitrate and concentrated sulfuric acid here we are going to produce large amount of nitric acid that process is known as Oxford process commercial means large amount in industries what are the reactants here product you know already product would be nitric acid reactants if you go back this is reactant ammonia and oxygen so what we are doing is we are passing these reactant ammonia and oxygen through the catalytic chamber that is having platinum gauge. Platinum is acting as a catalyst which is converting these two gases into NO, nitric oxide. And this again we are supplying here oxygen or oxygen here is supplying in excess quantity. So this reacts with NO to NO2 will be formed. NO is colorless, NO2 is reddish brown. And NO2 when you are getting from here in the oxidation chamber that is transferred to this absorption tower containing a quartz pieces. There is a specific function of quartz we will see later. First let us see nitrogen dioxide along with that oxygen is also here. So this 
will react with water to form nitric acid. You know, it means NO2 plus O2 plus water give rise to nitric acid. Now the function of parts is to provide the more surface area for absorption of NO2 gas in water. Okay, so NO2 is getting oxidized to NO3 and then water reacted HNO3 is formed here. So these are the waste gases. Waste gases means excess of oxygen would be there, excess of nitrogen would be there because you are passing here not oxygen, you are passing here air. So once you are passing air, so what is going to happen is the waste gases contains nitrogen also and some amount of oxygen. Okay, let us start. See this reaction is taking place. First reaction was ammonia we have passed as I told you already air we have passed but oxygen is reacting that's why air always required in large amount. So this reaction is a catalyst, catalytic type of reaction where platinum is the catalyst, temperature of 800 degrees Celsius and pressure is 1 atmosphere that is normal. Oxidation of NO is the second step, NO will be converted to NO2 and further it is acting as a dimer also and 2O4 also can coexist. So last was absorption tower NO2 plus water gave rise to HNO3 or we can say NO2 plus O2 is also there and water combined to form HNO3. So these are the partial gases which can be recovered NO. Okay, so hopefully this is clear to you. Now we are having certain reactions which are very 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 important. What are these reactions? Copper with HNO3 concentrated and copper with HNO3 dilute. So this word is used. Copper reacts with cold and dilute nitric acid. And here copper, cold or hot concentrated nitric acid. So dilute and concentrated. This is the main difference in the these reactions. What is the difference? Salt is formed. Copper nitrate, copper nitrate. Water is formed. Water, water. What is the difference? NO and NO2. This is the difference. Nitric acid when dilute. It will give us NO and when concentrated it will give us NO2. This is a very very important reaction and I would tell you that simply you just mind this numbers. Whenever dilute is there, 3, 8 is the balancing method and 1, 4 is the balancing method for concentrated. These reactions are very very important and if you are going to balance yourself as hit and try method you may take nearly 3 or 4 minutes to balance this. And after that also there is no surety that it is balanced correctly or not. So the matter that these two reactions you just this number at least you remember these are very difficult. Here it is very easy to balance but here this is a little bit difficult. So therefore 3, 8 you remember other things are okay. Fine. Now uh, next we can move to the next part. That is reaction with known metals also there in slivers. But first and second reaction is there on this labels and third is not there. Phosphorus is not there, carbon sulfur is there. Carbon is oxidized because nitric acid is acting as an oxidizing agent. Carbon will be oxidized to carbon dioxide. This is the main point. Carbon is oxidized to carbon dioxide. Who has done the oxidation? Nitric acid. Nitric acid acts as oxidizing agent. And what gas will be coming here? NO2, nitrogen dioxide, reddish brown color gas. Similarly, sulfur is not oxidized to sulfur dioxide. Please do remember. Sulfur is not oxidized to sulfur, sulfur dioxide. Sulfur dioxide is again oxidized to SO3 and SO3 react with water to form H2SO4. So please do remember that nitric acid is a very strong oxidizing agent which oxidizes sulfur to sulfuric acid, carbon to carbon dioxide. Please do remember that. Okay. Similarly, phosphorus will be converted to phosphoric acid. Here, the, I can tell you the fundamental to balance this reaction. Copper, uh, carbon is there, carbon 4 HNO3. Previously, if you remember, copper with concentrated nitric acid will give 4. Same. Here it is. Here also concentrated. Sulfur. Sulfur, what is the valency? Carbon valency is 4, so we will multiply by 4. Sulfur, what is the valency? 6. So multiply by 6 and add. So this is the way we can remember some important reaction because these reactions are very very important two reactions are there in the syllabus first one okay next is acidic property acidic property means it can donate proton HNO3 plus water give rise to nitrate ion plus water hydronium ion water plus H positive H water plus H positive give hydronium ion and acid plus base gives salt and water okay so this is a colorless sometimes question is coming or long standing nitric acid turns yellow why because of Decomposition. Nitric acid decomposed to give NO2 gas and NO2 gas is when dissolved in the colorless solution of nitric acid, it will turn yellow. So this is the point. 
and this is a corrosive to skin okay so let us see this this is very important the heating methods actually heating method is not specified in the this chapter but it's already there in the practical chemistry but these are very important so therefore i have to take up now but as such they are not specified in this level but it's specified in the practical work so please do this because these are important works so so see this reactivity series is there top of the reactivity series you know sodium and potassium is there middle of the series you know calcium magnesium aluminium zinc iron lead copper is there and the last one ammonium and all that okay or mercury is also there copper is there then then below that uh, silver is there now the point is if at the top is there if you are heating any nitrates are you are not getting nitrogen dioxide please do remember and if you are in the middle you will get both gases o2 as well as no2 and oxide and if you go come down if you come down to words mercury silver you will not get oxides here you are getting oxides pbo kno2 so at the last you will not get oxide so one more is there ammonia nitrate heating you will get n2o laughing gas okay so these are very very important questions in the practical work okay so this lead oxide is yellow yellow when cold and reddish brown when hot and it partially fuses in glass and make stains it yellow okay and do you know reddish brown color gas is there oxygen not having color this way question can be asked question can be asked is write the reaction when lead nitrate is heated in hard glass test tube you can write that way some time question is coming write the observation when lead nitrate is heated in a hard glass test tube we will write that the reddish uh, brown color residues form which is brown when hot yellow when cold and with the evolution of reddish brown color gas okay name the gas which is released when lead nitrate is heated in a hard glass test tube you will say two gases name the colorless gas which is released when reddish when lead nitrate is heated in a hard glass test tube you will say oxygen so this way question can be asked copper oxide is black in color fine and uh, next is nitrate salt potassium nitrate on heating give rise to kno2 and o2 so this also we have discussed in priorly that only this will not give no2 because it's having great affinity towards no2 that's why k is not releasing no2 similarly sodium also having great affinity for oxygen therefore it is not going to release no2 fine and this is ammonium nitrate earlier also we discussed and dual laughing gas will be produced so next is uh, ammonium chloride when heat heated it's give us ammonia and hcl and if you uh, the heat together and dense white fumes you can find in the inner uh, middle and the top layers of uh, the tube, uh, test tube cooler parts of the test tube so uses nitric acid is commonly used in industries and agriculture for pesticides making or fertilizer making and uh, highly used in factory of explosive like trinitrotoluene tolerant okay and uh, component of oxy uh, fuels rocket fuels that is oxidizer because it's acting as oxidizing agent and it's also used to identify various other metals like uh, uh, you want to find out how much gold percentage is there so to dissolve gold we are using aquaresia so aquaresia is a uh, one part of nitric acid is there concentrated and three parts of concentrated hcl okay so this is the most important test that is known as nitrate test nitrate is a acidic radical how to test is any solution which is having nitrate we are taking we are adding concentrated sulfuric acid when when we are adding uh, before that we are adding some acidified paracetamol solution freshly prepared then adding concentrated sulfuric acid and brown ring will be formed at the junction of the two liquids like this two junctions are there one junction here the here and the middle way the brown ring is formed okay so this is brown ring is formed due to what it's due to a complex compound this is the complex compound form in the brown ring if you are question is asked so you can simply say iron ferrous uh, sulfate nitroso ferrous sulfate this is the ion form for brown ring okay nitroso ferrous sulfate so next let us do some questions so to check your understanding identify the acid which is used in the preparation of non volatile acid non volatile acid it means it means what it means as to as of course non volatile which acid is used please see that is concentrated nitric acid second question is acid which is prepared by catalytic oxidation of ammonia so we have discussed already that is nitric acid by using oxwald process 
Next is cold and dilute nitric acid react with copper to form dash dash and dash salt copper nitrate plus water and which gas and no gas okay nitric oxide next is next question is identify the gas involved in the following reactions so what will be the reaction sulfur is treated with concentrated nitric acid this was the reaction which we are discussing previously non volatile acid sulfur is treated with concentrated nitric acid which gas will be released nitrogen dioxide please don't write sulfur dioxide that is wrong sulfuric acid is formed in this reaction few crystal of nano3 are heated you know that sodium is having great affinity for nitrogen dioxide nitrogen dioxide will not come out what will come out that is oxygen last is zinc nitrate crystal are strongly heated so that you know that it will gives us zinc oxide which is yellow and hot white when cold that is a residue and reddish brown color gas and crackling sound okay that is to then when crystals are broken so the sound is coming the crepitation give balance equation dilute dilute is the dilute dilute and copper carbonate copper carbonate methods and all that they dilute and all that is not a problem you know that carbonate any acid you are adding carbon dioxide will come and water will come so this is the basic logic here salt water and carbon dioxide so next see one more this is the question which came the board also this question is there in your exercise so l extra heat of blue crystal and solid l l is a blue blue means copper salt okay reddish brown it means nitrate and glowing splinter means oxygen so these are the small small hints we should be remember we should remember that and apply here copper nitrate nitrogen dioxide at two s and equations are here okay so this is the balance if whenever equation you are going to write you should write the balance chemical equation okay heating arrow also you can put on the arrow the simple we can put triangle symbol copper nitrate plus h2s gives rise to copper sulfide that is black in color okay so the next question is balance chemical equation for heating lead nitrate so these are the two there zinc nitrate lead nitrate these are two very important reactions okay sulfur is treated so many times it has been asked and three time i asked now so this is the question this question was also came in the board earlier so what is ab so ab you know what is ab a could be one could be concentrated sulfuric acid and b could be solution of sodium nitrate or potassium nitrate and the reaction also we know so they specifically if they written liquid liquid mean concentrated sulfuric acid b means solid solid means kno3 or sodium nitrate okay c is the liquid means that is nitric acid so this way we should remember all these things okay don't write formula is written here see if uh, this this thing has been written so you should not write all the formulas and all that write an equation this is the equation temperature should be less than 200 okay equation for the reaction which copper is oxidized so always remember when concentrated is there copper four carbon also four h o three so this way we can remember products are just similar copper nitrate water and nitrogen if carbon is there carbon dioxide will be there no, uh, apart from copper nitrate will not be there carbon dioxide will be there okay so let us see this question again yellow color ps in concentrated nitric acid that is left standing in ordinary glass bottle so earlier also i told you it is undergoing the decomposition nitric acid will give reddish brown color gas and no do that on dissolution with the colorless acid gives you yellow color so these are very very important questions which we are discussing now name the gas produced in each of the following reactions formula not acceptable please Take care of that. And they are asking names. You should write name only. Action of concentrated nitric acid on copper. You know, concentrated nitric acid, which gas is released, produces nitrogen dioxide. Okay. So this point you have to keep in mind. When dilute is there, then I know will be there. Ammonium nitrate. Nitrate means loving gas, nitrous oxide. Okay. And heating of ammonium dichromate, which gas? Nitrogen. the ammonium dichromate and potassium dichromate this gives the gas nitrogen this question was there in 9th class also good right balance chemical equation for the following dilute nitric acid producing carbon dioxide so any carbonate salt we can take any carb calcium carbonate okay and lead nitrate and sulfuric acid pbso both this is a white precipitate lead nitrate will give pbso both this is white precipitate and uh, this is the question ammonium nitrate calcium hydrogen carbonate these are the salts given you have to choose and apply 
nitrate which gives only oxygen or only sodium or potassium nitrate anyone you can check whichever is there we can write accordingly okay potassium is there nitrate which on heating decomposes into dinitrogen oxide and nitrous oxide and steam ammonium nitrate and two nitrate which on heating gives nitrogen dioxide and oxygen so any zinc if it's there copper also the copper is not there what if it is there we can okay so this is the equation so feeding sodium nitrate nano3 give rise to nano2 and o2 copper nitrate heating copper oxide and o2 o2 nitrogen monoxide and oxygen no2 so this are the simple reaction some questions are difficult some are difficult. name the gas that can be obtained the laboratory for the following write the equation for taking place ammonium nitrate and to laughing gas give the name of the soluble lead salt and write the equation for the action soluble lead nitrate lead nitrate salts are all soluble preparation of nitric acid from potassium nitrate the temperature less than 200 in that reaction okay action of heat or potassium nitrate can do and do and uh, catalyst used for commercial preparation of nitric acid is platinum temperature 800 process name is oxford and the reactions main reaction in the catalytic chamber four ammonia five o2 and four and no and six water four forty five forty six this way we can remember so thank you to the almighty god so by his blessing we are able to complete this thank you very much